All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a quick review of another Dapper Dan product. Today we got their Superior Hold and Shine. So let's go ahead and try and keep this under 10 minutes. I've been averaging about 10 minutes, but let's go ahead and keep it a little bit under. So we're just gonna be doing the usual. We got design of the jar, application process, um, initial thoughts on it, endurance, and then finally my final thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jar. All right, so taking a look at the jar, we see that the Dapper Dan Superior Holt and Shine comes in a very similar, if not pretty much the same tin as every other product that they have, minus like the sprays and the texture dust and all that. But the wax, uh, the medium shine, everything is, comes in this 100 milliliter aluminum tin. We get a little twist off with the sticker on top, stick on the bottom. Um, Got to mention on the back it's essentially the ingredients directions and pretty much directions in every european language so very inclusive but all i need is the english right now so not much to say there um once you guys open the tin we'll see that it's a very i'd say like a waxy lotion kind of look um, if you guys ever use like shea butter, it reminds me of that, but just a very thicker uh, consistency. We'll give you guys a little close up scoop. A little bit hard to scoop, but very soft. So nothing too complicated whatsoever. So let's go ahead and do the application process. Ew, that's messy. Once you guys open the jar, you'll notice like a very vanilla kind of scent. It's a very soft, yeah, I'd just say a very like soft, like a very deep, heavy kind of vanilla scent. It's almost like vanilla almond, I think. Is it, does it list it? I don't think it lists it, but that's what I'm getting. It's a very like floral mixed in with like a nutty scent. Almost smells like a very, not a generic candle, but like one of those wax candles that is like roasted hazelnut coffee or something but yeah that's what i get so let's go ahead and do application process scooping it out you guys saw it earlier it's fairly easy it's gonna be essentially an oil-based product once you spread around your palms you see that it essentially just <clears throat> breaks down into a very nice sheen Application process is fairly easy, aided by a little bit of sweat because it's hot. But right now I've got, I think, a, a day or two worth of buildup. So I don't, I literally just need one scoop. So this product will definitely last you quite a while if you're washing your hair like every two, three days. This will definitely go a long way just because if you're not shampooing, a lot of the oils kind of just stay there, provides a little bit more hold, a little bit more weight, which also means that you don't really need extra product. So let's go ahead and I think today we're just gonna do a comb. All right, so combing it, we get fairly easy comb application process. Pretty similar to most oil-based products. Uh, very soft, very malleable. We get a good amount of slickness, good amount of shine. The hold itself, I'd say it's about a medium hold. Not very much, if any at all, strays. If you're able to comb it very well, then I'd say you'd be set. So, I'm not able to really get much height out of this just because it's a very heavy product. We'll go ahead and I think that should be good. Um, this side, not so much, just because it's a fresh haircut and I kind of messed it up on my end. So we're waiting for that to grow back. But on this side, things look fairly nice. You get a good amount of waves, crazy amount of slickness. Uh, comb lines are essentially very responsive. Um, yeah, I think we're set right now. So let's go ahead and get throughout the day. We'll see how, essentially how long this lasts. 
given the heat with oil-based products, but that has not been historically, does not do too well. So we'll see how much of it will last. So catch you guys in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So if you guys take a look, we got a lot of shifting. That's kind of expected with most water-based formulas um, compared to like a gel-based formula where things dry and harden up. With an oil-based formula, we get more of like, oh, we just get a lot more moldability and just versatility in the sense that we can restyle essentially anytime we want. So depending on your style, that's, it's gonna be different for different styles. So for like my hair, basically, um, I typically do like a slick back. Um, don't really put too much thought or effort into getting ready, especially nowadays. So with the Dapper Dan Superior Hold and Shine, we do get a nice amount of like weight from the product where it can hold your hair down. We don't get necessarily a lot of control where you're able to style it on the same levels as like a clay or just when a water-based pomade is drying up. So it does lack that dryness to a point where your hair, I guess is like not crackly, but just a lot more moldable um, with this. Yes, it's moldable, but because of the weight and like how quote unquote wet the product is, things don't really, I guess in a way, stay as like not gonna say it's not clean but it's just not like as refined as you would want if that makes sense that didn't make sense at all so ignore that let's go ahead and restyle as you see performs essentially along the same lines as other water-based formulas at least the heavy holds. It's definitely a lot softer than the old school grease, greasy products. I assume that's because of a lack of petroleum or petrolatum products. So we don't get that crazy like greasy oiliness that we usually get. This is just more along the lines of, let me see. I'd compare it to like the old school like granddads and stuff where you just get like that nice and smooth kind of oiliness. You don't necessarily get a ton of wax, so we don't get that like dryness or like that really, not stickiness, but just like that, not even grittiness, that's from place. But we don't get that dryness that we usually see with like the more new quote unquote oil-based formulas. This one stays true to being old quote unquote old school, but Right now, we essentially get the same performance as we did earlier. I do notice that there's a little bit more of a responsiveness from the product, maybe because that's the water has dried out, but can't get a crazy amount of volume just because even if I pull it up, my hair kind of falls back down. But cool thing is things are still slick, so that's pretty much it. The scent at this point is very subtle. You'll notice it in your hands if you're like kind of playing around with your hair throughout the day. But as of now, it's not as strong as when we first applied it. Uh, rinseability, you do have to use a shampooing. Uh, I know it says that it's completely rinseable. Still gotta use a shampoo. It's not completely like a true water-based formula where you can just rinse it out. This. You do have a lot of oils and waxes in it, so you do need something to dissolve that from your hair. So, to end things, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. So, catch you guys next time.